After a long hiatus, we are back. This is the first in a long time of Nick and Krista do wine. All right, guys, it's been a long time. It was, what was it? It was 2019? It was what? a while. 2020. Was it the 2020 wine advent the calendar? Yes. Wine, yes. 2020 wine advent calendar. We did uh, Christmas Eve. We took a long break. Uh, Crystal was trying to do some wine videos last year on TikTok. The format was a little bit weird. Um, we are, we're going to look at doing some again this year. We are pre-advent calendar, post-turkey day. Uh, we're in this uh, happy little bubble right now. I've been telling ourselves we're going to make another video at some point, and uh, we are back. So, what do we got today? Today, we are doing uh, a budget wine tasting here yeah. on Nick and Chris to do wine. Okay. This is a Toscano Rosso from Italy, and actually this bottle retails around 10 to $12, so it's a good, cheap little easy favorite. And uh, why did we pick the Italian wine today? So we picked the Italian wine today because we went to Italy earlier this year and we got engaged. Yeah, we did. <laughs> we drank a lot of wine, ate a lot of pasta, ate a lot of pizza. Was awesome. Definitely, uh, you know, I'm not a red wine guy, but you would just go and they would just, you'd just be able to buy half liter, liter, like jug of the house wine and it was good. And it was, yes. it was always red wine and it was good. So mm -hmm. I was like, damn. So, uh, yeah, um, I'm, I'm not expecting a whole lot out of this today. American, anything that makes it to the, uh, the States, no matter what it is, if it's red, usually I'm not a big fan, but excited to try some Italian wine mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah, see what we got. So sure. what, uh, this is a blend. This is a blend. So, uh, Italian wines come in a big variety of different, um, just different blends, varietals. And so today we're looking at the Vecchia Cantina Compoltino Toscano Rosa. This one in particular is an IGT. So the IGT stands for, I'm going to butcher this, but Indicazione di Grafica Tipica. Uh, so this is one of the different classifications of Italian red wines. Um, they also have the DOCG and the DOC. These are highly, more highly rated and more highly regulated than the IGTs. So and it's then, like t quality tiers or like, it's like regulation, checkpoints? It, yeah, the different checkpoints, essentially. Okay. It's like, um, okay. It's so more stringent, like quality standards like the further up you go yeah so huh. there is uh so you have your luxury brand then you have your everyday brand and then you have your cheap brand and this is more the everyday and italy is not the only one to do this right i, re I think i remember french and like spanish wines they yes. have like certain like okay yes everybody's got their own so which, which tier is this one again this is the igt okay mm -hmm. interesting yes marino um, and so this red wine, uh, this is a blend of Sangiovese, which is Italy's favorite red grape. We did um, a Sangiovese in the, uh, the wine advent calendar. We did. I remember that. Yes. <laughs> uh, so we also have a mix with either a uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, a Merlot, or a Syrah. So I know like Cab Sav and Merlot are usually not Italian wines necessarily. No. Are those, are those still are those grapes like a merlot grape is that still grown in italy yes okay. they can still grow these here in italy um but the reason is it's the why it gets put into this igt and it's not a, a varietal on its own is because they're considered a non-native grape to italy the merlot and the uh cabernet sauvignon okay so it's mm -hmm. mostly sangiovese and that's why it's the igt yes hmm. interesting mm -hmm. the merino all right, look at that cooperate international cooperation <laughs> in, inter alp cooperation going mm -hmm. on there. Good stuff. Yep. We love uh we love uh some Italian wine for sure though. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yep. And the way that we can tell what region this came from is the by the term Toscana. It's from the Tuscany region of central Italy. And rosso, which means red. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, so what uh, kind of flavors can we expect from this particular blend? So we're going to be looking for a little bit of black cherry, leather, that mineral graphite, a little bit vanilla, and maybe some chocolatey mocha in there. I forgot how weird some of the flavors are, <laughs> like leather and gravel, but I know I've got a gravel like little pick that I had to do because it came mm -hmm. up really often. Okay, yep. that's funny. So um, sweeter, uh, drier, like what? what? This will be drier. Okay. Um, 
And it'll also still be tannic, but not as strong on the tannins as like an American blend with the Cabernet Sauvignon and the Merlots. Interesting. Okay. Yes. This is old world. It'll be more gentle. Huh. Mm -hmm. well, I like it gentle. Yeah. Okay. Should we pour this out then? Yes, we oh, shall. Awesome. So you uh, already popped the, uh, the cork on this mm -hmm. to let it breathe a little bit? Yep. We'd let it breathe for about an hour. Ooh. It takes a lot of uh, prep time. There's a lot of uh, basic bitches out there mm -hmm. that... Uh, I don't think want to wait that long. No, this one you don't. You probably didn't even really need to. Like I said, um, it's old world. It's a blend with Sangiovese. It's more gentle. It's more easy, easy going. Um, as opposed to if you had an American blend, uh, you would need to let it breathe because it would be very strong and heavy. And I can already see like versus some of the reds you drink where they're just like midnight. They're super dark. This is a little bit lighter, which gives me a little, uh, little mm -hmm. faith. Oh yeah, this is like I'll a be beautiful plum garnet color. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's it's like mm -hmm. a nice, yeah, good stuff. All right, I'll look at that. Been a couple years, but I got my swirl. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at these legs. They seem kind of slow, question mark? Um, no. They are, it I'm is coating so the glass a little bit. These. Oh, no, you can't, no, ah. you gotta make your prediction first. What are you I thinking? I was gonna say 13. You're thinking, thinking based on the blend. You're thinking 13%? Based on the blend, but now I'm cur now I'm scared I have it way off. What 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 do the legs tell you? Legs tell me that it's more. Legs 13. tell you it's more. All right, what do we got? Oh, what was your uh, what was your guess? 13. Based on the blend. Based yes. on what you know about the grapes? Yes. That's correct. It was it's a 13% alcohol by volume. There we go. All right. So All right, we sniff did us. Now. Hold on, what do we... How do I do this again? I forget. It's been so long. You keep your mouth slightly open. Okay. Breathe through. Breathe through the breathe whole thing. In the, breathe in through your nose. Exhale oh. through your mouth. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting the I'm getting the body. Ooh, this is nice. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, I'm getting my uh, yeah. Smells like what I uh, what I'm used to. This smells like it would taste. It would be go so well with like meatballs and pasta and I, meatballs and spaghetti. I almost get leather. I can't tell if I'm making that up in my mind. Or, uh, it smells like a library. Like when you think of like um, like somebody's library in a house where they have like a leather chair and the books and it's like cozy. That's what it smells like to me. Maybe. Maybe. Old leather bounds. All right. Let's see what we got. Mm -hmm. It's got a good acidity, but it's slightly more tannic. Pretty uh, pretty dry. Mm -hmm. I always I always mess up the terms with this because there's like three categories and it can be either or for all three and I always <laughs> mess them up. Uh, no, it's it's it tastes dry. It tastes it's it's not sweet at all. Mm -mm. So I'm getting chocolate. Get like chocolate? A, like a charcoaly chocolate. Like a rocky chocolate. A rocky chocolate, like a rocky road? Yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm getting zero fruit flavors. Zero fruit? Zero fruits. Oh my God. Me. So what are you, based on, uh, based on the flavors that we're, uh, expecting from this, what, uh. Well, I definitely get the leather and the graphite. Okay. Um. Bla uh, the black plum raspberry not coming through. <laughs> oh, I'm looking at the wrong one. Yeah. <laughs> like black, I said, I can like smell cherry. like a red fruit in there, but I can't taste it. Does it almost taste like the Malbec or the uh, Cab Sav are coming mm. through a little bit more? No. Or it's There's Mal no Malbec in here. Oh. <laughs> what, what, what was the blend? Merlot. Merlot. <laughs> Wasn't there another one? Cabernet Sauvignon. Yeah, Cab Sav. That's what it is. I've been out of the game a while, folks. I'm, uh, no, Cab Sav has a more of a more fruit forward flavor. It is more fruit forward? Okay. Mm -hmm. more, yeah. yeah. So very Sangiovese. This is a very uh, interesting blend, but I like it. It's earthy. That's what it is. You know what it tastes like to me? <laughs> is it too soon? <laughs> I feel like it's too soon, but it's so true. Anytime you throw a red in my, uh, red down my gullet, mm. it tastes like grapes. I do enjoy this one though. I think this would pair really well with food. It's a little, it's a little unbalanced to have just drinking on its own. Wow. I would say. I mean, I'm still gonna drink it. Where? But <laughs> where? Uh, well, where do you picture yourself uh, drinking this particular wine? Drinking this wine? Yeah. Um, any uh, any of uh, the restaurants and on our, our trip <laughs> coming back? 
Uh, this one would definitely have been in Milan. Milan. I would Milan. have been drinking this in Milan, not in the Amalfi Coast. Like a, like a little black dress and some fancy updo. And yes. Sitting at a bar looking for some Italian man to come sweep you off your feet or take, <laughs> hey, you, I to, already got take one. you to the racetrack. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good stuff, good mm -hmm. stuff. Well, uh, I guess. Any where do other... you picture yourself drinking this? Where do I picture myself? A jail cell. <laughs> so dry. It's not this that dry. So sweet. Oh my gosh. It's, it's not sweet. You can pick the next mine. I can pick. Uh, I'm picking uh, eggnog. <laughs> no, I don't have the. Uh, I don't have. Stay the, uh... tuned for the next episode of Nick and Krista do wine. But well, eggnog. we'll see. I mean, <laughs> we got the advent calendar coming up here soon. I might go edit this video and just be like, man, this sucks and then uh not do it again so we, we still gotta kind of try to figure out if we're gonna do the wine advent calendar or not if you have a preference throw it in the comments mm -hmm. uh if, uh, if you want to help me edit uh throw in some <laughs> star swipes always uh always appreciated mm -hmm. if you want to uh sponsor us costco or whoever <laughs> sells this book it's like because i drank the wine and they ain't paying me for it <laughs> not yet but anyways thank you for tuning in for another episode of nick and chris to do wine um, again, this was a budget pick, uh, $11 at our local wine mega store. Oh, <laughs> Total Wine? Yes, but they're not paying for that. No, yeah, they're not. <laughs> That's okay, though. That's okay. Okay. Awesome. But it was good. I enjoyed this. Krista enjoyed it. I didn't think it was terrible. It was it was very not sweet, but not terrible. <laughs> so uh, the, uh, the, uh, the lesser, you know, wine drinker, not mad at it. Mm -hmm. So... I think on that note then, this is Nick and Chris to do wine. Hopefully we'll see you in the, uh, the next video. Cheers. Cheers.